three. We want to welcome everybody today to Mom and Dad Talks, where we have our favorite two people, Mom and Dad, and we have guests, the Hebberts, and we have our millennial expert. I call her my millennial expert, Lindsay Bryant. We want to welcome you to the show today there, and we really appreciate you. And so we're going to get right down to it. This is a favorite one that I like to talk about here, and we can always bring it back up again. What was it like back in your day, and what do you see the difference today with what you see? This is living history, so you just, you just go right to it. Well, the, the one thing I see that's different is uh, when we grew up, we only read information in books. Today, I am surprised at the information that's out there for everybody to have access to. Mm. Uh, we only knew what uh, this, you know, what was in their school books, uh, what was in the library, but the, uh, today is astounding, the uh, amount of information that's out there on the internet and uh, through Amazon mm. and Alexa. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can fact check everything. Mm. I, I'm gonna add my, I'm gonna add my idea. Mm -hmm. I grew up on the typewriter, and from the typewriter to this day and time, I'm telling you, I'm way behind, and I don't know whether I'm going to catch up, ever catch up, <laughs> because I can't even take a picture on my cell phone and send it to somebody else's cell phone. I mean, that's just how much <laughs> technology has happened in my day with the typewriter mm. and today's with, the, with this modern technology. I, 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 I don't know whether I'm going to pass the test or not. <laughs> Herbert, what, what, what was different during your time? Oh, to me, to yeah, me, yeah, um, yeah. when when I was younger, you worked. It wasn't an option. Mm -hmm. You had to have a job, and you had if you didn't have a job, you didn't go out and spend money you didn't have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and okay. now it doesn't really seem to matter. There's 150 credit cards coming to your mailbox every day, and you can just join up to and buy whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Howard, what, give us one, one of your examples. Well, I would I would say dating was a lot different. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I mean, we used to be able to just go to the person's house mm -hmm. and talk, mm -hmm. and now it seems like it's all online. Uh, it's in chat rooms. Mm -hmm. It's you know not very personal. <laughs> okay, I mean, I, I, Lindsay, you know you're my millennial expert. What what in the world's going on today? Because I'm like totally lost. Go ahead, talk to your girlfriend. Um, I think the one thing I thought about was just the music, the difference in music. Um, mm. I think I would prefer more of the Motown era because there's more substance with that music. <laughs> So, I mean, there's good music now, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that's both with um, gospel music mm -hmm. is definitely different from what it is. Mm -hmm. Christian music is different um, now than what it was back then. But mm -hmm. um, that that is the first thing that came to mind is music, um, how different it is. Mm, it's very interesting. So, you know, mm -hmm. and, and like I said, you know, this, this whole thing with dating, everybody uses apps. I saw you smile with that one, Lindsay. You yeah. know, you ask the, you know, because... <laughs> You know, I'm at an app to to meet people. It's different, but that's just that's just yeah. the way it is, especially with COVID, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even more so, I think with COVID, um, there's so many apps out there now. Mm -hmm. uh, I have not tried them myself, mm -hmm. but I mm -hmm. hear so much about them: Bumble, Tinder, Hinge, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. all these different apps that people are trying mm -hmm. because not just because of the pandemic, mm -hmm. but because of I guess they're just more comfortable. Um, it's kind of like the social media. Um, mm -hmm. era mm -hmm. and of course if you can meet somebody and you don't have to be face to face with them mm -hmm. you know I think that's a plus for some people mm -hmm. a, a lot of us don't like that you know so <laughs> we like old school yeah you know mm -hmm. I mean we, the, the awkward moments when you meet somebody like oh you don't look like the picture I saw right right <laughs> right or the catfishing or the yeah. catfishing yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> catfishing you probably that's so... real <laughs> all right Lindsay what is catfishing Catfishing is, from my understanding, it's you take a picture that might not be you and you put it up and you act as if that's you. 
So, oh, so many people have been hurt. <laughs> oh, so many people have been hurt because of that. Yeah, there's a show even called Catfish. So <laughs> the fact that there's a show about it lets you know that a lot of people have done, you know, and it's, oh. it's sad. It's mm-hmm. and, and this is totally amazing to me. I mean, because I mean, when I grew up, you know, the radio was the way I heard new songs from the DJ. Mm-hmm. And stuff. I mean, is that what you guys? I mean, let me ask you guys. You know, let's ask the, the, the my, my 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 older experts here. What did you, how did you guys find out music? Let's just talk about that for a hot. Oh, second. we we had we had radios. Uh, no, yeah, the, radio. I remember. Randy's WLAC, but, but no, no, records. No, and we records. records. <laughs> yeah, we had records. And then we went to eight tracks, but I wanted to, to go about the the. Uh, I was a rock and roll junkie. Mm. I oh. loved I loved me some rock and roll, mm-hmm. and my dad had a, 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 a you know those radios that those those high radios, those big, that, uh, big old radios that you know, boxes. sound box. Not jukebox, mm-hmm. they were radio looking mm-hmm. like jukeboxes. Mm-hmm. Man, we put one in our room, my sister and me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, my sister and I. Excuse me. <laughs> we, put our, we put one in our bedroom, and I'm telling you, we were in another world then. Wow. Uh, you know, it's it, it, I, I don't know how to describe it, but something we did something wrong, and my dad snatched that radio out of our room so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I said okay, but we went mm-hmm. from the radio to the record player, the mm-hmm. 45s. Mm-hmm. I don't know, you all are too young to remember yeah, those 45s. So I, 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 I know what a 40 is. It's not a gun, folks. It's a, it's the size of a <laughs> mini yeah, record. Like a, small, back a, in the small, day. a smaller the 78s, with the 78s were the bigger ones, 78s and 33 and a third. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. So the music, the music industry has really changed over the years. Then you went had the eight track when those uh, yeah, uh, CDs came, uh, the cassette. Eight cassette. Then you the went cassette. the eight tracks. You know they had them in the cars. Yeah, yeah. I remember carrying. I remember carrying. Oh, yeah. a, case, a case of eight tracks that were this thick. You know, the, the eight tracks. Were, <laughs> <laughs> and we thought we were really something carrying them in the car. And mm-hmm. then they scaled down to the. Cassettes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then the eight tracks went. I remember the those. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Then the eight, then the then the, uh, the little CDs went in the drawers. And now I still have CDs, but I make them myself. So that's yeah. the difference in what it was back then and what it is now. Now you have MP3, mm-hmm. MP4s, yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm not so much into that. I, I got to catch up yet. Mm-hmm. But. Well, you know, you bring up a great point there, you know, about, about that. And I saw Lindsay laughing like, yeah, I remember them cassette tapes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> then they jumped right. from cassette to CDs. You know, you know, you can skip yeah. without skipping, right? Right. Now, right. you don't even worry about your, the CD player going bad on you because everything's electronic, digital, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know. Streaming you know, you devices. Yeah. Just get a phone. Mm-hmm. iTunes, yeah. YouTube. You could just play it, you know. Yeah, whatever right. song you want, and you don't right. have to worry about right. the machine eating your cassette tape. Right, oh, <laughs> that was the worst. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta go get another. We used cassette. to have record players in our cars, uh-huh. and when you went over a bump. It was skipped. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's a totally different area. Like, what in the world? This is barbaric. Mm. Right, right. I didn't even realize that. But if you had a record player, you were cool. Yeah, yeah that's what I about being cool. Yeah, you could, low yeah. Ri- you could slow rise. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Todd, those were the good old days. That's right. <laughs> that's right. When, when you actually knew people. Now yes. I kind of know you, you know, and that's right. why people say, you don't know me like that. You're right. I don't. Cause I, as from your pictures and everything, that's all I know you by. Right. Mm-hmm. So, you know, yeah. you don't get the interaction. So, you know, we only got like five minutes before the set goes out. Okay. So, you know, so basically in essence, what happens is, is that meeting people. Right. And we'll talk about this more next time. Lindsay, how in the world do you meet people in your age group? It, it, that baffles me. Um, honestly, through church, through uh, my other friends, I have quite a bit of friends um, just because of um, being a PK and um, going to boarding school for high school, going mm-hmm. to college. Mm-hmm. So you meet a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Um, so there are times where um, I've met 
mutual, you know, mm-hmm. you make mutual yeah. friends with um with other individuals. So that's that's kind of how. I'm not really like I said, I'm not one to do the online mm-hmm. online dating. Yeah. That's just kind of that's all right, though. You know, mm-hmm. that's nobody judging here. This is no judge. I know yeah. millennials, you yeah. can't be judging. So, you know, that's the first yeah. thing I've learned is, you know, I gotta let you be you. You know, when I was coming up, boy, you don't do that. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, though, I won't hold you guys long here, but um First of all, I want to thank everybody. We're going to have a great time next week on Mom and Dad Talks. I think this was a great discussion, everybody. Yeah. Um, so until next time, welcome to Mom and Dad Talks, and we'll see you all later. Bye. 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 Bye.